So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna interject. So I got my Baba story. So when uh, they had hats and stuff like that, I was always looking for free stuff. I don't know if it's a Jewish thing, but I was always looking for free stuff. And so I was looking for free hats. <laughs> and they had hats, but they didn't have hats in my color, which were Malenko colors, which were black and red. We, those were Malenko colors, black and red. So I went to the hat guy in the concession. I said, hey, I always said, hey, hey, can you um, can you get me a hat? And I wanted it in black and red. And the guy's like, yeah, well, you know, he said whatever he said. And I thought I understood him, and I walked off. Well, later on in the tour, a couple weeks later, all of a sudden the guy comes up to me and goes, you know, Mr. Baba wants to see you. I'm like, oh, shit, what did I do? And so Baba's got this hat, the new uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling hat, in black and red. I'm like, wow, that's great. You know, Baba himself is going to give that to me. So Baba hands it to me, and I thanked him, and then he said, um, I forget how many yen, but it was like 200 bucks. He said, you know, two, well, 200 dollars. And I went, I, I I just swallowed hard, and I went, son of a bitch. I didn't know what I was going to do, but this is Baba with a hat, and I figured, okay, well, I guess it's 200 bucks. And I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a lot of money back in the day, and what I was making in Japan was kind of keeping me going. So I said, okay, here's here's 200 bucks. So I give him the 200 bucks, and my head's hanging low. I'm thinking, what the hell did I just do? I got the cap. I start walking away, and then all of a sudden I hear, hoo, 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 hoo. I turn around. He ribbed me. Baba ribbed me. <laughs> Baba never ribbed anybody. So my claim to fame is that Baba ribbed me, and he also carried my briefcase. He carried my suitcase one time on a train, which is the only guy he's ever carried his suitcase for. That's my, that's. That's my biggest. That's my biggest thing to fame in Japan. It's actually not any matches that I did. Bob ribbed me, and he had to carry my suitcase on the train. <laughs> that is a great, great story. It's pretty cool. Um, I was going to say, I'm surprised he charged you for the hat, but obviously. <laughs> well, he didn't. No, that was a rib. He went. Well, I know. I, I was joking. saying as, yeah. as you were going with the story, I was thinking, I was like, why would he charge you for the hat? But then obviously, you know, he he, he got me a little too. Cause I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, why the hell would he charge you? That's you know, so funny. See, you would have been upset too. You'd be like, "Holy crap!" But I had no yeah. choice. I was—I was, I just reached into my pocket. I started taking out some money and handed it to him. Like, okay, this is Bob. What am I going <laughs> to tell him? No, I'll never come back here again. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Exactly. Paul, Paul, lanky bastard. Good guy, though. Excellent guy. Legend, of course, and. Uh...